Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this reading. Uh, if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. I am running a special for the month of February, so do go over and check that out. All right, this is going to be your general love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please be mindful that the messages may or may not resonate. It's a general reading. All right, you guys, let's get started. I hope you guys are doing well. Oh my goodness, what is the drama? Let's see, what are we getting? I'm feeling this energy shift, and I know that this week, I believe Thursday the 3rd, we're coming out of Venus retrograde, so things are gonna start picking up again in love. All right, let's take a look here. What's going on? Okay, clock perfect this is all about time cycles some of you have taken the venus retrograde to heal you've been reevaluating your love lives what your what your plans are what you want to do if you want to get back out there if you've healed from a past bullshit relationship if you are of i don't mean to say it like that that sounds so harsh but yeah it for some of you it was okay um, so a lot of you took some time, much needed time to yourselves, which is awesome. Okay. Um, and needing to take that time is something that you needed to do. Let's see. So there's a cycle finishing out here, which is exactly that Venus retrograde. All right. Healing heart. See, that's what I'm saying. And I also feel like there's other people who are healing as well, okay? So if you had a separation with someone during the Venus retrograde, which I do believe started December 18th or the 19th, there might've been this period, um, some people here are healing from a heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction, okay? So this can go both ways. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, look, you've got addiction. All right, so somebody here, <clears throat> healing codependency, healing obsessive behaviors, getting rid of them, um, possessiveness, controlling, um, some blocks are being removed. Um, there was restraint, that someone is practicing restraint or two people, okay? so. I really feel like coming out of this retrograde is, uh, you guys are going to be like brand spanking new, other relationships. I feel like absence has made the heart grow fonder. And they're just telling me to pull another card. Okay. Time heals all wounds, Virgo. All right. Let's see. There might have also been, well, when we say addiction, addiction to really anything. It could have been connecting with someone that had an addiction problem, or it was you, or both. Could have been a very codependent relationship. So now I have the hammer. Okay, sabotage, rebuilding, integration, repetitive, persistent effort, and working on it. So, you know, Virgo, I have to say, it's either it's an well for some it's an energy of your heart you know you're healing your heart and getting uh, a lot of you are just really getting into this uh, i guess i want to say this energy of working on self yeah that's what it feels like working on yourself so this is a physical the mental the emotional the spiritual but there's an energy here of um somebody else or two people that were in separation um coming through it was just the clock makes me think of that time period during that retrograde and i feel like two people here healing their hearts and for some rebuilding a relationship again it sounds promising just remember it's a general reading so for some it may be occurring for others it may not and if it doesn't occur where you and another person are reconnecting or rebuilding or working on something, you know, really using the tools to put in good effort, it's just you yourself, okay? It could be another person, but separately, right? All right, let's just, you know what? I want to use, 
I am not specifically live right now, you guys. This is just a pre-recorded live. So let's see what's going on here. A lot of you are just, I really see you're working on your homes. You're rebuilding. Uh, some of you are building a home, buying a new home, having a home built. Um, really working. Some of you are just hanging up some pictures maybe as you're listening or redecorating. Um, working with some type of tools, construction tools. Um, and spiritually, energetically, working on yourselves. All right, let's see what else is going on. Boom. Okay. We've got a tower coming in here. I mean, this is 100%. After every storm comes the washing away and new growth coming. And your advice here is stand firmly on the ground and know that this is all for the best, okay? So tower energy would be for some uh, that Scorpio energy. Some type of strike that has sent a ripple effect in your life. That is just kind of like a tsunami of change happening here. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, spiritual principles. All right. A lot of you are like rethinking your belief system. Um, maybe you're changing your spiritual beliefs in some way. A lot of you are just kind of like, hmm, what do I want? Have I been conforming? Should I? Do I need to keep conforming to something? Or do I need to rebel and go off on my own path? You know, asking yourselves what path... Where have you been led to? And a lot of you are standing at the crossroads, really asking yourselves, where do I go from here? Which direction do I want to go now? Let's see. Okay. A lot of you are just no contact. You're just going into no contact, complete, utter, done, and rebuilding yourselves. Your you're not communicating with your past you've let people go exes people that were not in alignment with you you're a lot of you did kind of like a cleanse um like a reevaluation. see okay i have a loving older female showing up here in this month of february this would be someone generally of the water element a female who is or a male a nurturing person healing someone very supportive um someone who's tolerant uh someone who's empathetic this person could be in a position of like teacher or a trainer um for some of you, this could have been someone that you have been in no contact with and are remaining in contact or re remaining no contact with. And for others, I feel like this person is going to be significant. I'm going to pull a clarifying card on the no contact. Okay. So I'm picking up cancer energy here. But like I said, some of you are standing at this crossroads. It may be that this healing or this absence is causing a reworking of a connection in your life with someone. And somebody maybe tries to reach out to you, but realizes that the message isn't going to go through. Um, they try to reach out to you, but the message won't go through because there may be a blocking. Um, but someone here is legitimately like thinking that they are not wasting any more time. They're going after what they want. No hesitation. Again, blockages being removed. Show me this no contact. I feel like it sits here at the center. So I feel like this energy is all about a no contact situation during the Venus retrograde has caused some type of an awakening, which with the tower, I just kind of feel like an upheaval. It's called caused an upheaval. 
it's it's a no contact thing has just broken everything down very violently let's take a look what is the no contact card about here okay yeah anxiety stress the nine of swords oh my goodness somebody here was forced to make a change because the anxiety and the stress of the situation nightmares maybe de depression creeped in or crept in uh, some grief let's take a look I'm gonna see what else is going on there oh yeah somebody eight of cups a lot of grief about somebody leaving a relationship eight of cups Yeah, abandonment, withdrawal. I really feel for some of you that there's, there, I'm picking up like a water element here. Now this feels like a very past, and we're going to get more into the present and the future, but this feels like for some of you, you may have taken time to yourself, like I said, to heal your heart. Maybe you were codependent or there was, maybe you were feeling obsessed with something or feeling a bit controlling. Um, a lot of you needed to implement some restraint um, and block something or someone in order to fast track your healing. Okay, so you could rebuild. And I feel like your actions two people in no contact has caused a major wake-up call for someone here or for both people okay and i'm i'm picking up very strong like male or female energy uh, masculine feminine uh, water element cancer scorpio pisces and what's happening here is now things are gonna it's like gonna start taking off okay um Let's, I just, they said, pull a clarifying card here. Okay. Four of Pentacles. I feel, Virgo, like somebody here is having some type of um, real anxiety about the fact that something ended and they're not going to let go. They're coming for you. They're coming after you. They're coming for the connection. All right. So I'm just going to pull. I want to look at, and I feel like it's maybe two people. Okay. In other words, you and another person, you know, it, it needed to happen. Something needed to happen to be able to reassess, to see time apart needed to happen, to see if in the absence, the feelings grew stronger or if they withered away. All right. So let's take a look here at, let's take a look at you. I want to look at your energy fully. Okay, just you, Virgo. Okay, you have justice, you have the lovers. Okay, and you have the sun. So you're feeling very positive. I feel like some of you, you made the decision out of love. Some of you let someone go because you do or you did love this person. Okay, we have Libra, Gemini, and Leo. Some of you needed to do what was best for you and for your heart with the lovers, okay? Um, because you needed to come out of maybe a grief cycle or a difficult period and get it kind of like, I feel like you're getting happy about love again. I also feel like with justice, this is like a win-win solution because if this person were to come back, you would be in a better position. And if they aren't to come back, you're still in a good position. King of Swords. Okay. Male or female. Again, with the Gemini. Could be Libra. Again, or Aquarius. All right. Temperance. Uh, some of you are just in this position where you, you just want to have a partner or a lover who's a good communicator. Okay, that's really important to you, Virgo, because you are Mercury ruled. Communication, that's where it's at for you. And you know, you want someone who is going to, you know, do the work with you, put in the effort. Okay, I feel like you're 
getting yourself in a really good place where you're more balanced you're more in harmony with your you're more in alignment with yourself and with spirit um you could be currently connecting with an air sign or they could be coming in who is very stable well balanced okay but or just connecting with someone male or female maybe you're talking to them right now um where this person i feel like they they work in the legal system or with the courts or, or in law it's very strange okay so you've got the devil capricorn energy you have seven of pentacles okay someone from your past is returning you have the six of cups okay um now i do feel <clears throat> in relation to the beginning of the reading that i was giving here there there is someone coming back from your past a water sign an air sign could be any sign really it's just someone that you um this is a soulmate <laughs> but it could have been a twin i a little bit of i'm gonna just have to call it a soul flame um but i feel like I, like I said here, with the Four of Pentacles, there's still this don't still this don't want to let go or just want to have this long term security. And I feel like someone from your past is going to be returning, but but you got that devil that devil energy. So it's just kind of like you're hesitant. Like, oh, is this going to be a repeat of the same thing? You know, am I going to have to wait more? Are things going to be delayed? You know, is this or is this person going to put in the effort? And I feel with the Eight of Pentacles that somebody will put in the effort. Definitely. Um, more organized, more in a power position, that kind of thing. But let's look, let's look a little bit more into... Um, this other person and see what the energy is for this other person because i feel some of you want to be married to, to this person um i don't know though if you want to go back to the past now for others you may still be working on if this person shows up there may still be triggers and if you still have triggers, that means your healing is not done yet. You know, it's kind of like when you have a wound, it's real sore in the beginning. And after like a month, it's just maybe only 50% sore if you touch it. And then maybe after two months, it's like only 10% sore. So you're not fully, if you're still, like if this, if somebody reaches out to you or you get some kind of message, um, if you feel if you don't feel anything, then it's done. You're healed. Okay. So that might, you might have a little bit of a trigger because I do feel like in um, February, there is going to be somebody trying to reconnect with you again. All right. This other person. Okay. Aquarius energy. <laughs> Eight of swords. Nine of wands. Four of wands. Oh my gosh. This person's trapped. They don't know whether to just take a leap of faith with you, come towards you, or if they should just hold back and wait. Or if they're just, they're hesitant. Okay, six of pentacles. They have the moon. The hermit and the four of cups. What the... Okay, yeah, this person is like, they, there's a lot of restrictions, insecurity. This person is quite isolated at this time. They're on their own. They're not with anybody else. Not serious. Um, I mean, I don't know if they're talking to other people or dating. They could be, but they're pretty much on their own. But when it comes to you, I feel like they're kind of like, hmm, they're curious about you. I feel like they're watching. They're trying to get some information about whether or not to come towards you or not. But that Eight of Swords energy, whew, this person's really like 
holding back, imprisoning themselves. You know, they're feeling kind of salty or butt hurt. <laughs> they're feeling like a shit stain. You know, um, I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Um, obviously, there's a healing that that needed to happen. So there may have been some kind of a wound in the past. Okay, but it feels to me like um, I'm just hearing that very old song. Of course, all my songs are very old. Leanne Rhymes, Can't Fight the Moonlight. They just gave me that song. Dun, 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 dun. Does anybody remember that? Okay. So we have Pisces, Aquarius. Somebody might be on the cusp. Um, and another Virgo. But I just see they're telling me to pull some clarifiers here for you. I mean, for this person. I'm going to pull clarifiers for all of you. Okay. So this person, like I said, whoever they are to you, I mean, I feel like there's a huge upheaval and change. This coming out of this retrograde, things are going to start moving forward. But I feel like, I don't know if we're in a shadow phase at this time or we'll have a little shadow after the third. Honestly, I can't remember how that works. But this person really wants to come toward you and take a leap of faith and just, you know, that like getting their hope back again but they're still a little bit trapped let's take a look at this fool card oh yeah three of cups about reuniting coming towards you why are they holding back because mm, they got to take a risk it's a fearful situation for them six of swords so it feels like this person they got to make a move Maybe there's a long distance because this is a card about travel for some of you. Or it's just that they have to come at you in a different way and they're thinking about how to do that. Rather than taking a car, they're going to take a boat. That's just, fig that's just figuratively. In other words, however they came to you before, they want to come in a more softer, gentler way with this Six of Swords to come out of this chaotic water here, this turbulence and get into calmer, safer, calmer waters with you. Why is the Eight of Swords here? What's going on with this person? Okay. Well, the Two of Pentacles showed up in the reverse at first, but I flipped it over. This person is trying to decide if they are capable of committing. They have very low self-esteem when it comes to romantic relationships, maybe not in other areas of their life, they may be confident in, you know, their career or things like that, but relationships may not work for them. Um, I feel like they have, I mean, I do feel like they, they freely talk to others, um, you know, of just other people, but I don't feel like anyone's really a prospect because they're suffering still, okay? Um, they're also... Some of you called this person out or left the relationship because of romantic juggling. This person maybe was couldn't make a decision. They were just too busy juggling, weighing their options, and that might have caused a, a lot of delays, weighing their options between you and others, or just options of whether to take a risk and stuff like that. Okay, so they're 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 definitely fear based. But that tower, I feel like that tower moment came down and really just like hit them on the head like a, like a boulder. Okay, so look, this person sitting here with this four of wands, which is another card of reunion. Let me see here. Why is the four of wands here? Oh my gosh, here's the tower. <laughs> Um, where this person's, where this person lives, um, maybe had some destructive weather, okay, um, or their home, they're not in their home anymore, I don't exactly, it could be destruct, maybe lightning hit, hit the home, or some type of, um, maybe the building collapsed, no, no, I'm not seeing anybody hurt. But something here is showing me that this person is unable to stay where they are. And part of part of their decision here to come towards you is connected to they have nowhere else to go. Um, I know that's not a good reason <laughs> to come back to somebody because what are you, a freaking shelter? No. 
but it's also a wake-up call that this person has or is having or will be having that you are home to them okay um hmm just want to get one more clarifying card on that oh my gosh the three of swords yeah this person is so heartbroken without you virgo there might have been a third party kind of thing that you called them out on and left you were not nobody puts virgo in a corner you are not going to compete with anybody it's basically i feel your energy here you left to heal your heart you were like called time on this with the clock you called time and started rebuilding your life working on self okay which is what you should have done which is what you should do whenever you're in situations like that if there's third party affairs romantic if there's arguments um, like a, like hardcore arguments, like heartbreaking arguments, you know, pain in the heart type things. Um, divorce, if any kind of loss, if there was um, third party interference by friends or, or work, there was no balance in a relationship. I feel like um, a lot of you just said, I'm out. No, I'm not competing. Love is first. Love always comes first. Because what the hell are you working for? I mean, what what good is what good is life? Who 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 would you have to share your successes with, or share your days in and your days out and all the awesome things and sometimes the difficult moments with, if you, you're alone, you know. <sighs> It's just something so beautiful and wonderful about having someone who's got your back and they got your back and you have theirs and, you know, oh, I'm like repeating myself. So I feel like this person, you know, I don't think this person has ever gotten their heart broken before. Not really. Or if they have, it didn't have this kind of effect on them, like what happened with you and them. Okay. Okay. I just don't. They may have had their heart broken before, but not to this level. Not not in the tower way. I mean, this is like ego-shattering heartbreak. Like, you blew the roof off this person's freaking ego. This person sees that you truly were. Uh, like, you were no... You weren't pulling any shade. <clears throat> Virgo, you don't usually do that anyway. You're pretty direct, Virgo. At, to some degree, whatever, whatever shade, you know, you, you're direct. And you could be any, any color of direct, but you get your point across. And I feel like this person, I do feel like they wanted to be with you here. You know, they wanted to have that structured foundation or that home or live together or that kind of thing. But whatever happened here in the past, <clears throat> you... I feel like a lot of you um, left the relationship or you were forced to leave it. Maybe they left it, but and then you were forced to leave it or they gave up on it. But here they are now with the Six of Pentacles, wanting to give that exchange, wanting to share, wanting to do what it takes here. Sixes are all, always about exchange, um, giving and receiving, reciprocity. Sixes are about realignment when there's inconsistency, okay? When there's in uncertainty, sixes are always about change and giving security. Look at how those two people there, they're in a less or a less kind of a position, lesser, and that one person's up there sharing and giving. It's almost like um, charity or helping, but this is like because we can right and i feel like this person is coming to terms with they were very selfish in the past they weren't sharing or they were over or like or they were sharing with too many other people you know and so with a lover in other words they weren't making you a priority they were kind of at the very top and you and everybody else 
were all in the same box and they weren't putting you up top next to them and everybody else underneath they had you down low and a lot of you just said i don't that's not my place i don't know who you think you are but that's not where i belong have you seen me do you know me <laughs> you think i'm so great but this is where you put me no nobody puts virgo in the corner <laughs> no virgo will bust the hell out of that shit like uh-uh like the hulk mm -mm. i deserve better because that's what I would give to you. Because I put you up at the top next to me. Okay, so here they are. Coming in with that willingness to have some kind of an exchange with you. Wow. This person wants to... I see them coming in in, Fe in uh, February. They're learning that their confidence comes from being hospitable and sharing okay um leo energy here i just heard feed the cat please please feed the cat somebody needs to feed the cat or if somebody's feeding stray cats i don't know <laughs> feeding a bunch of cats or felines um so let's see yeah see courage wow this person was so damn selfish self-centered one for me one for you two for me one for you three for me two for you four for me three for you very like put themselves first if if you were both going into a store this person would go in first and kick the door behind them to hold it open for you uh really like no class whatsoever you know why because this person was raised on a freaking farm there are a barn with the animals they got treated that way too this person i feel like has never known how to court or be in a relationship extreme insecurity if you we're connecting with someone who is very insecure. That's very dangerous. It's very dangerous because that can cause insecurity in you. And, you know, that can, I mean, that can do a lot of damage. Okay. But I do feel like this person is tired of being this way. And they're gaining the confidence and the strength to come out of themselves and start contributing because i don't feel like they were contributing all right so why is this moon card here and i'm going to pull some clarifiers on you as well why is this moon card here Whew, okay virgo remember i was saying that song can't fight the moonlight there's something oh my gosh aquarian energy here there's something that this person thinks about at night their dreams okay because that's what the moon is we have our dreams at night their fantasies their dreams their illusions of when the two of you were laying next to each other it was a very healing um it's a very healing memory this is what this person thinks about uh, maybe you guys are in the shower together naked 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 um or you were in bed because the four of swords can be a card of rest um there was very restful peaceful time with this person late late at night when the moon was out and that song i feel like maybe they're listening and they'll be listening or they they hear that song can't fight the moonlight leanne rhymes you should look it up listen to it. it's old what was she a country singer i think this is from the what early i don't even know was that from the late 80s 90s i don't even know um maybe the late late 90s maybe um so yeah that's what this person thinks about like they date well they night dream not daydream although they could daydream because 
this is kind of a half moon, half sun. And something to do with New York City, because those look like the Twin Towers to me. I know they're not here, but maybe it was that long ago. I'm not sure. But this person, oh, get the lovers underneath. Okay, just when I was going to clarify, the Knight of Swords, this person is coming in. You both um, needed to be away from each other for a long time to heal. This might have, uh, your separation might have happened a really long time ago, but the healing needed to happen. You have the lovers and they have the lovers. These, these are two people who are, you're, you're both meant to be together. Okay, and here's this person's coming in, making a huge lifestyle change. Like they're going for it, they're going for it. Okay, they're, they're making this decision. Like I said, sixes, sixes are about appreciation, self-sacrifice. And I told you, this person did not make sacrifices in your relationship. And you guys just said, "That's it. I'm out. I'm going to go heal myself." I'm going to put I'm putting the hammer down I'm built rebuilding myself I'm rebuilding my body I'm working out I'm eating better I'm eating clean I'm getting rid of any toxic ingest in, in anything toxic just totally cleanse just cleansing cleansing the mind getting some healing uh, going into some spiritual counseling or any kind of counseling you know um and interrogating yourself as well like okay what did i do what what happened what's the reality of the situation here some of you are coming to terms with you know yourselves what role did you play in this connection it just it just feels like it was a reevaluation phase for a lot of you and i feel like you're both coming to this place where you're like wow this is my person i do love this person now i know that this isn't going to resonate for all of you Okay, so just enjoy the chat, if that's the case. But there are some, you know. But a lot of you are just really like, I feel like the, the clock was ticking and the years were passing by for some of you and you stayed in this marriage or this relationship for such a long time and the whole time your heart was breaking. And you needed, like the only way you needed or that you could get set free or heal. It became almost like habitual. That's what we say, like an addiction or it's habitual, this connection. It became so rote to just keep talking to each other in the same ways that you always did, coming home, saying the same things. How was work? Work was great. Or talking on the phone and having the same conversations. Like you, Virgo, I don't know what happened to you, but you guys just, it's not that you stopped loving this person. It's just that it wasn't enough for you anymore. This person is coming in to surprise you when you least expect it. Yep. Yep. Three of Wands on the Four of Cups. Um, I feel like it's travel. I feel like this person is going to surprise you. Um, they're going to either show up at your door. Um, they're going to do something physical. Okay. Not a phone call. Not a text. It's something physical. And I know some of you are like, well, I moved. That person doesn't know where I live. <laughs> okay. Well, they're going to find you. Or they're going to go to places that you used, used to go. It could be sending an actual, see, it's physical, right? It's a physical thing, not necessarily tangible. Um, I see this person stay like standing on a dock. Um, so it could be a boat. I don't know. People usually take planes. Um, or maybe you live in, across the lake from each other or they could be at like um, a terminal standing at a terminal um, or a station they're getting they're they're standing there right now I see them they've got like some suitcases or some stuff and they're catching they're getting a ticket they're catching a train plane or an automobile maybe an uber they're coming towards you they're coming to you Yeah, maybe they're just be in your area Maybe not right at your front door for some, yeah. But be in your area. They're going to surprise you. 
They've been thinking about this. Yep, that's what they've been thinking about here. Nine of Wands. They've been thinking about you reflecting, searching for wisdom and answers. And here's the Nine of Wands. What did I say? Coming out of that comfort zone, taking that risk. They want the freedom because their freedom is with you. The freedom they feel is with you. They've come to terms now that you are you are their other half. You know, no matter what you look like, no matter how you behave, what you do, where you go, they just know that there's this connection. Um, and something needed to end in order for it to be rebirthed again. Okay, so with the Nine of Wands here, this person's been really thinking about it deeply. You know, they've been hesitant. They've been um, kind of holding back. And that's why there hasn't been a lot of communication, because they've been thinking about how to come towards you. Okay, but the persistence, they're going to be very persistent. Now, let's take a look a little bit at you here. Do I have, give me just a second. I have to get one more deck. You guys have used like four decks here, four or five decks. All right, what's this justice card here for you? What's going on with you? Ha, huh. well you, listen, Virgo, you've got the six of cups twice on your side. I mean, a lot of you, I feel it's not that you don't want the person back. You do. You would just like them back in a different energy. You want this person to come back awakened. You know, if they're going to come back, your thought process is they got to come back right. Okay. Um, and that's what justice is here. They got to come in and do the right thing and make things balanced out. Right. And, and I feel like that's your energy. That's what your thought process is. And you're also your thought process is if it doesn't happen, I'm going to be happy anyway. I'm going to be OK anyway, because love will come again. You're aware, Virgo, and you're in this you're you're in this place where, you know what? I want you, but I don't need you. Right. If you want to be together, then this we have to rebuild and you got to do you got to pick up a hammer, too, and work with me. If not, I'm single as a Pringle and I'm dating and the good weather is here or the good weather is coming and I'm getting out there and I'm going to be happy, joyous and free and be successful and I will have a lover. So it's it's kind of like a win-win for you, really. And I said that in the beginning. Why is the lovers here for you? <gasps> Get the F out. You've got the lovers on the lovers. Virgo, what the F? <laughs> you, Virgo, you know in your heart of hearts that this is your person. And they know it too, but this person, just a lot of insecurity. Okay? <laughs> Virgo, you have, this is also, you have so much love in your heart to begin with that if something doesn't work out, you still have so much love to give. Like, you might, you're like, what? Well, I could have like two, three, or four lovers if I choose, but I want this person. But if this person's not going to show up, I, you know, I'm still living my life. I'm still choosing me, you know, to and loving myself, you know. And so I love that. <laughs> Double Gemini energy there. I love that with you, Virgo. Beautiful. You're so beautiful, Virgos, and handsome and so amazing. All of all of my Virgos. I love my Virgos. Look at this. The Eight of Swords showed up in the reverse. Virgo's like, I am no victim. <laughs> Virgo's like, I am not self-sabotaging shit. Okay? I am here I am. Living my life. Okay? I have released. I have new hope. I am escaping from any kind of prison that anybody tries to hold me in, even the prison of my own mind. I have healed. I or I am on my way to healing. Those swords are dropping out. You see the handles? The handles are real heavy, so they're just falling out. And that toilet paper dress you've been wearing, you're getting rid of that now and you're going for the Gucci. Right? So you're you're like <laughs> I mean, for the guys, maybe 
you've upgraded from one ply to two ply. I don't know. But you guys are, <laughs> you're just like, uh, listen, it's not a problem. I'm free. No matter what happens, I'm free. It's going to be a win-win for me. I am happy and I am free. Happy and free. That's it. All right, let's take a look at this King of Swords. What's, what is this King of Swords? You're even being fair with yourself where you're accepting that the memories, the good memories of the past, if the situation doesn't rebuild, um, you're even, I see you getting into a good place where you think about the good memories. It's still like, it's a win-win for you. You're fair. You know, occasionally, like lovers, you know, you always have you always have the good memories of, of lovers past, always, because when the heartbreak is over, you know, and you're healed, then really all that's left are the good memories. And you can just kind of, you don't dwell on them, but I see you being able to think about, maybe not right now for some of you, but when you go forward, I see you being able to look back on things. And just kind of say, be a little nostalgic or look at a gift that was given to you. Or some of you will be able to look back and say, well, we were so young. You know, we didn't know. That kind of thing. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the King of Swords. <laughs> so, Six of Pentacles, just like this person has. Maybe that's your King of Swords over here. So, whatever sign they were, your person... I feel might have been more cerebral and less emotional. They were more cerebral in their thinking and their thoughts. Okay, um, the things they would they would talk about maybe just work or mundane or just things like that. Um, not really someone who shares the feelings, the deep you know, the the feel the deep feelings, which is fine. Um, but with the six of Pentacles. I feel like this person, they're not, listen, Virgo, be aware, your person is just not at the depth that some of you are when it comes to the emotions. Don't project that onto another person. Some people, believe it or not, are just not even aware of how they feel. And if they're not aware of that, how they feel, and they become aware, they just can't articulate or verbally express it very well that doesn't mean that they don't have feelings and that's how I feel about this person the best that this person is going to be able to arrive at is to make sure not to leave you out in the cold ever again okay and to be more how I want to say um uh, more giving and also more receptive right and be able to help be more helpful that's a love language um that this person is able to will be able to show you um and and maybe not someone who's full of affirmation but someone that is able to help you or to give to you things that you know what is one of the love languages gift giving or uh, doing tasks or doing things for you this is what this person that's what they know to do they're not going to sit down with you <clears throat> and <laughs> have long deep emotional conversations with you virgo male or female this person just doesn't operate that way and if that's something that you need to have then you need to connect with people who are able to do that so that you get fulfilled in that way but this person the best they're going to be able to arrive at here is to you know give you that reciprocity that you want now everything's going to balance out okay and I feel like for you, um, things, it's, it was all divine timing. That's what this whole thing has been about. The angels have been conspiring to make healing happen in this relationship, to bring you both into harmony and patience, um, or bring you both into harmony with patience. 
okay, and self-control. Because like I said, there might have been codependency or some type of an addiction where things got out of hand between the two of you and the separation needed to happen. It's kind of like two, two siblings who are fighting. The parent comes in and separates them. <laughs> I mean, the parent was God or, or the angels and just stroke, you know, stro what's the word I want to say? Just striking it down, like putting a wedge between the two of you so that you needed to go to your, your own corners and think about things and reassess before you decide to get back in the game. And I feel like that's what's happening here. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. Look, okay, you're willing to make this transition just as much as this person is with the Six of Swords. Again, taking that risk to rebuild. You're, you're, you're willing, absolutely, Virgo, to rebuild this if they are, okay? But they have to come out of their fear base, that eight of swords, that insecurity, that self-sabotage, imprisonment, um, or their inability, maybe passive behavior and inability to make a decision. Okay, why is the devil here? So remember I was saying this person coming back, you will be a little bit hesitant um, or fearful if this is just going to be delayed or they're going to make you wait or the addiction will prop up again crop up again is what I mean okay you have a fear that this person for some it could be like a serial dating um, or they indulge too much with the three of cups in the reverse are they or it's gossiping or they won't be in they won't come in supportive they just come in selfish y you definitely like I said remember if they do like you might still be a little triggered you're definitely freeing yourself but your heart is very tender when it comes to this relationship and you're you're willing to take a risk and rebuild if they are but you need that person to make the first move that's really what i feel you're not going to be the one to initiate this and i feel like if somebody was uh just left you out in the dark or left you out in the cold when you tried to express your love or try to you know, if they said they wanted to be with you and then they didn't really put any effort in and you left, you're not going to, if you, Virgo, if you go after this person, start chasing them, this person needs to love themselves in order to love you. If they can't love themselves, they're not going to be able to love you. That's just point blank, period. But I feel like, yeah, you'll assess, you'll take a look and see if this person's coming in with that emperor energy. See if that person's going to take the lead. You know, you're not going to sit around and wait the rest of your life. But you will look and see. Okay, well, this is what you did before. Now I got one pentacle. Are you coming in here with in, like this Aries energy, this emperor? Like you're going to take the lead? You know, you're going to come in. It's like somebody who's full of abundance. Somebody who's like even, are you going to be a good parent now to our children? Um, are you going to be somebody that like wants to have this child? You know, um, are you going to be there for our child? Like some of you are just like, is this, are you going to make plans here? Uh, if you make some plans and you show me the pile of plans that you have, then, you know, I'll look at my pentacle and like I'll add to it, but no other way. All right. Why is the six of cups here? See, your reconciliation with this person is a lot different than theirs. You know, you both have it, but the, yours is more in innocence. You're more innocent because it's from the heart. Um, this person is more like a wake up. Like they, they don't, they just can't see themselves living their life, their life without you because you brought something to this person you brought a lot of healing and like i said they think about one particular night that you were together maybe some of you were only with this person one time it could have been but there was that memory sticks in their mind they have these dreams about you okay <laughs> so you have the nine of pentacles in the reverse very interesting so it feels to me like Virgo, I just kind of feel like you're tired of being solo. You want the reconciliation with this person, um, but you don't want to be with them and feel like you're by yourself or feel like you're the only one doing everything. 
or you're the only one who's in the relationship. You know, you're, you're just, you've had enough of the setbacks or the jealousy or the envy, okay, or this person's workaholism. You know, you, you, you want the re reconnection, you want the kindness and sincerity and the love, but you don't want to be back in this if you're going to just be all by yourself because then you just might as well be all by yourself. And that's your thought process here, Virgo. Okay, guess what? King of Swords showed up the bottom of the deck again. So, you know, a lot of air energy showing up here for some of you. Now, let's take a look and see what your... Look at all these cards I have on the table. Let's take a look. Um, this reading is going to go on a little bit longer, but that's okay. I want to give you your Romance Angels messages. I want to do a one for you and one for this person. What is your romance angel message for you, Virgo? Okay, chemistry, see? Strong magnetic attraction. This was a difficult to let go of this relationship because of that chemistry or that, that magnetic pull that you and your person have towards each other. It's so, it's like, you can't even explain it. Virgo, I can't even explain it for you. I just know that it's there. You know, oh my gosh, it's like a chemical reaction between the, be, that you felt with them. I mean, this feels more like th that's what you felt. Okay. I don't know what your person felt. Maybe they felt that way, but this feels more like, like you, it, it was really hard for you to let go of this person. <laughs> it might've been, you know, chemistry, the hormones, who knows? Very, very difficult. It's not really what you wanted, but... You couldn't live, the chemistry could have been like, you both could have been in like a chemically dependent relationship. One of you may have gotten sober and clean, you know, and the other was still out there. And the relationship for some was just grew around that, you know, and I see a lot of you are just, you know, getting, you're not depressed, you're healing. Let's see, what do they have? Okay, that's why I said this could be the one. Your person knows. Virgo, I'm not going in any deeper with these Romance Angels. This, this person, that's why nobody else, I think the last reading I did, nothing compares to you. They've met other people, but they know, like, <laughs> you're the one that they want. Do, 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 honey, the one that I want. You are the one I want. Hoo, hoo, hoo. The one I need. Oh, yes, indeed. All right. Um, okay. I just want to get some love messages here. I have some more love messages. Okay. You guys, are you still with me? Are we still here? <laughs> it's going to make up for, okay, obstacles, unhealed wounds or blocking forward movement. You know what this person's obstacle was? It wasn't distance. It wasn't um, different lifestyles. It wasn't race. It wasn't religion. Um, it wasn't any of that. This person's the obstacles. That, excuse me. Let me rephrase. Slow myself down. This person's obstacle was self. They were the obstacle to love, to them having true love. Okay? So any other excuses that they made were just excuses. The fact is, this person had unhealed wounds and either they were self-medicating through drugs, alcohol, sex, food, um, work, whatever it was. They put the obstacles in place to cover up for the true obstacle was that this person was like a walking raw nerve. They self-sabotaged and that's what the obstacle was. So whatever anybody told you, do not believe it. Okay, because love conquers all and there is no time or distance or anything that can ever stand in the way of true love. They themselves made themselves the obstacle, but they blamed it elsewhere because they didn't even know what was going on. What's your message? Soulmate, there you go. Point blank period. I'm telling you, soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Don't doubt for a minute, Virgo, that this person that you're connecting with 
wasn't your soulmate. They weren't, that, that don't doubt that this person didn't love you based on their actions. They did. Their actions didn't show it because of the obstacles that they put, because obstacles can be fear, can be anxiety, unhealed wounds, trauma, PTSD, whatever it might be. You know that this is your soulmate, Virgo. You already know that. But you know what? Just because someone's your soulmate does, or your twin flame or your soul flame or your, your twin mate, just because that person is that doesn't mean that it's meant to be. Do you understand? There's other soulmates out in the world, and I think you know that. You had something with someone that just, you got caught up, okay? And you're healing, and you're moving forward with your life, and it's good, and, and if it doesn't go forward, which I feel like it will, but if it turns out like Virgo, you could be the one to say, no, I can't go back there. I, I just, or you maybe you just need more time. That might be your decision that you're not going to reconnect with this person. But if they even try to put in an effort, like I said, to really, like I said, cut their leg off below the knee and walk on their bloody stumps for you for the rest of their life, raw bloody stumps, you'd be like, okay, <laughs> you know what? Here's a little tip. If somebody comes back in and they're like, I love you, I love you, I want to be with you, and I, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Say, okay, I'll tell you what, shave your head. You want this? Shave your head. Oh. Uh, you don't want to shave your head? Okay. Uh, start going to church with me. Oh. oh, you don't want to do that? Okay, counseling, coming to counseling. Oh, you don't want to do that? Okay. Um, let's see. Rent a plane and fly my name how much you love me put somebody to the test that's all you need to do a lot of you are just afraid to make somebody work for your love because virgo you're you love this person and if they asked you to do something like that you would do it because you love them right love is we're vulnerable we take those risks we write those love letters we reach out we expose ourselves when we're in love when we're truly in love with someone you see it all the time people are like, i don't care i make a fool of myself i love this person i don't care you know you don't, you don't want to do anything that is going to cause harm but something put somebody to the test and if they're really in love with you like you're it for them they'll do it they'll do it that's how you know. You could avoid all these damn tarot readings for the next 10 years. <laughs> I'm not saying somebody that you just meet. Like if you do that, then you're cuckoo crazy. What are you doing? Right? But other, you know, think, put put in the chat, put in the comment. What, what kind of things do you think your person that you've never asked them to do would do for you? If they really love you? Yeah. Okay. Let me hold you to that. Let's see. You really love me? Give me, um... I don't know, give me five grand. I'll put it in a bank account. And we'll, I'll hold that as collateral for like a year. And then you show me for a whole year. And if you can't make it through a whole year showing me, you forfeit. And I get the money and you're free to go. And if you can show me, well, now we've saved five grand together. How about that? How about that, mother effa? All right, let's see. This person's hidden truth message. I look for you everywhere. Well, rightfully so, because Virgo, you're not there. They're looking for you. I think I told you that. And you, Virgo, you're like, we'll be together again. I'm not even worried. I'm not sweating it. And if we're not, oh, well, somebody else would be there for me. <laughs> Virgo. It's like you got this confidence. Like you, I feel like Venus retrograde really did you, did you some justice. I really do. This person's wondering if you are happy without them. And Virgo, some of you are, or some of you are getting happier. You know, you're coming out of something. Some of you already are. You're just like, hey, if it's meant for me, it'll be for me. And if it's not, it's not. What can I do about it? You're, you're taking a real, like, Jerry Seinfeld kind of stance. You're like, ah, what is, it is what it is, which is great. Did you ever think you'd get to that position? It happens. All right, let's get into, let's see what your special, unique, specific messages are here. Names, dates. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Somebody drives a big rig, you know, like on the road. Big rig. It's like a driver, 18-wheeler. Um, somebody's birthday is on the 8th. Let's see. Somebody's 38. Somebody's got blonde hair. Short blonde hair, like a bob cut. Short blonde hair. Okay, let's see. Huh. Somebody's going out in a red dress very soon. Lady in red. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. Are they giving me anything on that? Uh, oranges. Somebody lives in Florida? Or somewhere where there's orange trees? Okay. Who? Cool. And somebody wears a belt like everywhere they go. They always have a belt on. So they have jeans or slacks or something. They always wear a belt. I just heard that. Somebody's always wearing a belt. Okay, somebody's birthday is on, let's see, the 19th. Um, and somebody, I'm seeing a brand new rug. Somebody got a brand new rug or carpet. or putting rug down. Are they shaving their rug? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, I just heard it's either it's 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 either you got to choose. It's either me or them. You can't have it both both ways. We or me or them. That's what I just heard. Somebody's a Taurus. Okay, they just gave me a Taurus. Um, hmm, universal. They just said universal. Um, let's see. And then I just heard somebody say, you need to ask the dentist. I don't have the answer. Go ask the dentist. You have to ask your dentist a question or somebody's asking the dentist something. That is such a weird message. Um, okay. I'm getting the number 21. All right. I'm also getting October 21st, which is strange. Um, I heard Sojo or Soju, Sojo or Soju. Okay. All right, they're giving me April 15th, which is very strange, and I'm getting March 3rd. I'm also getting the 10th, the 13th. Somebody's 33. All right, and mix, mix, mixtape, or, or mix, or Mick, or Mike, or M Michelle, Mick, Michael, Mickey. Jose. They just somebody just said Jose. Okay. Whew. A lot of a lot of names. Okay. Um now somebody was born in 1974 and I'm also picking up the 11th. And I'm seeing um it's weird, like um a ring of fire. I just saw a ring of fire. I guess like Animals jump through tigers. Oh, the year of the tiger is going to be on Tuesday, I think, isn't it? Starts on Tuesday or this week, the year of the tiger. Maybe somebody's born in the year of the tiger. Um, and I just heard year of the rat. Okay. Okay. Now they're saying sim. I don't know if it's like a sim card or sim or someone's playing the sims. All right. Did I? Okay. They're giving me um, the 15th. Did I say that already? And I'm hearing. Um, so the initials M, J. 
I'm getting MJ, and I'm getting um, A and R. I'm also getting an H. Um, February 28th is going to be a significant day this month. Oh, February, for the month of February. February 28th. You thought I was going to say 29th, didn't you? Um, okay. Yeah, February 28th. And I'm, I'm getting um, the letter E. I'm getting a K. A T and there and a W. All right, I don't know if those are initials or what the heck that means. I'm also getting area code 310. And I'm getting also 274. You could switch those numbers around if you want. 310 and 274. All right, um, let's get some charms and then we'll finish out your reading. <laughs> All right, three charms. Okay. So, so, okay, listen, some of you, some, it's like somebody's a diamond in the rough, I'm telling you. Unexpected. A diamond in the rough, I'm hearing. Um, but I'm also getting, um, oh, I just got, that's so weird. There's this, I just saw, I think it's, it's an old video game. Oh, what the heck was it called? It, it looked like that. Oh, uh, uh, I think it was called Temperance. No, Tempest. Or is there a name Tempest or Temp Temp something Tempest like an old video game? I don't know what the hell that's about. Um, but I also feel okay. There's some type of architecture that's made out of steel steel beams somewhere where you live. Like it's art, like artwork. And we also have a a turtle. Okay, um, this is a rather somebody has a really small weenie. Because, <laughs> like, this turtle's head, you can't even see it. It's, like, kind of popping out. Maybe somebody's not circumcised, I just heard. I, that's way too much information I need to be seeing. Um, and somebody, <laughs> all right, now they're just, like, I don't know who the hell is talking to me right now. Somebody likes, I'm going to spell it, A-N-A-L. That's all I'm saying, Okay. <sighs> That's all I'm saying. And if you have hemorrhoids, you need to go get them taken care of. Okay, let me see. I just want to get a couple more. <gasps> all right. You know, you love my readings. We're candid here, us Virgos. Ooh, we have a dragon. Beautiful. Well, Chinese New Year coming up here. Okay. So we have this beautiful dragon. Something to do with a dragon, some type of connection with a dragon. Maybe somebody has a username, dragon. Um, but there's, actually, this is the first time I've ever seen this. I know you can't really make it out. Sorry about that. But fire breathing dragon or some kind of, something to do with a dragon. Maybe you're watching a show with dragons in it or there's like wings and dragon fire breathing kind of dragon okay they're giving me a couple what the oh wow look at these double stars somebody definitely likes the anal um you're gonna get some kind of flowers but i'm also seeing um somebody likes to wear silver and this is so cliche to say and another person likes to wear gold but i'm also seeing that's what i'm seeing like flowers i don't know if they're metal flowers or maybe it's wallpaper or some gift wrap or something but it's got like 
like silver and gold. I'm seeing silver and gold, or maybe it's like a charm with silver and gold, like a necklace of some sort. We also have a doggy print. There's something silver and gold around you. And if that's the case, <laughs> that's a message for you. Very strong message. Maybe their anniversary, silver anniversary, gold, I don't know. Um, but also puppy prints. If you lost your, your doggy, somebody here has lost their doggy, and I'm very sorry. Or if you've lost someone very special to you, um, my condolences. I can feel that energy, and I, I definitely feel like there's a paw print of some sort. Maybe there's snow, and there's paw print. Your dog's leaving paw prints for some. Or you have a paw print, like doormat or somebody has a paw I just see like a paw print doormat or somebody's getting their doggies prints made I love dogs such a big dog lover I'm not a cat person I can't do it you would think I'd be a cat person because cats are neat and you know with my Virgo but no I don't know I just the dog something about a dog I just love doggies and puppies um I think cats are just very snobby I don't have time for them <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to leave your messages there. I think that's it for now. I think we went a good long while, hour and 15 minutes. So don't forget, um, I'm running a February personal reading special. Um, go over to my website, moonpytero.com. Check that out. If you want to purchase your readings for all of February, I've opened up some more slots so you guys can get in there. And uh, yeah, don't forget to purchase, go to my website, peruse it. Don't forget to purchase my Twin Flame reading. Don't forget to join the channel because I'm here every Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live chatting with you, where you can get um, mini personal readings. All right, I'm going to upload this now because, so that I get there by 1030. Hopefully, it'll be uploaded to you in time. So love you guys. I will see you all hopefully a day tomorrow, day or two. We'll see how it goes. All right, bye.